Hello everyone, my name is Tom Trin. I'm a senior application engineer for Valent Corporation. Today, I will illustrate how you can accomplish more than two positions for an IAI EC cylinder. With that, what I will show you first, so I'm wired into the first two output of this PLC. What I'm using to accomplish this is I have an Omron HMI and also the PLC from Omron, which is an X1P2. And this can be accomplished with any combinations of the HMI or PLC. As you know, the II EC cylinder provides only two positions, but the reason we can accomplish more than two um, because you know the speed of the actuator, and if you know the time that you can put in, you basically will know how long the actuator will move, okay? So in this demonstration, first I'm gonna click the forward button so that the actuator is extended to the maximum stroke. Now, I'm gonna have it move back the certain stroke length that I wanted. And since I know the velocity and the speed of the actuator, I know what time that I put in here, then that's how I know how much stroke length the actuator is gonna move. Right now, I have it for 60. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the um, actuator so that it moves back. Now, I'm gonna extend the actuator again. Now, I'm gonna change it to a different stroke, and this time I'm gonna make the time shorter. And that means the actuator will move shorter stroke, but move. And let's get it going here. I can also change the draw time if I want to. Right now it's 200, I'm gonna make it longer. Actually, I can also change the draw time if I want to on the fly. So that's how you accomplish um, more than two positions with the IAI EC cylinder. Thanks for watching and please contact us if you uh, want to get more info.